x squared plus y squared equals z squared, which um, gives us the relationship between the sides of a right-angled triangle. For example, 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. But what if I change the squares to cubes, for example, or fourth powers or fifth powers? Are there any solutions to these equations? And Fermat believed there weren't any solutions, that you can't find numbers x, y, and z such that x to the n plus y to the n is equal to z to the n, when n is bigger than 2. Now, trying to prove that you can't find solutions is somehow much more difficult than actually finding three numbers which solve that equation. And that's why it really was one of the biggest challenges for mathematicians for 350 years. We just couldn't find a reason to show why these equations couldn't be solved. Until, that is, Andrew Wiles came up with his great solution. Um, now actually, a lot of people thought, well, Fermat's last theorem, perhaps that's the last theorem, perhaps we finished mathematics. Um, but actually, this work that Andrew Wiles has done has really opened up our, a whole new area of mathematics and is allowing us to understand a, a, whole, a whole slew of new equations. A lot of people say, well, what was that useful for? Uh, the world of cryptography depends on the mathematics that we've discovered on our journey to solve Fermat's last theorem. But I would say, actually, uh, that's not what motivates a, a mathematician like Andrew Wiles. Being able to have your name on something like Fermat's Last Theorem, which mathematicians have been trying to, to, to prove for, for 350 years, you know, that, that's the ultimate prize.